our first guest is going to be joining us, John. Yes, uh, we're about to be joined by Teresa Santoro of the Ridgefield Visiting Nurse Association, more commonly known as the RVNA, celebrating 100 years of service to the community and celebrating with a new building. Teresa, welcome. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me this morning. Now, the RVNA is really so important in this community. You guys are involved in a lot. I mean, you do a lot. We absolutely do. We've been here in Ridgefield for the last 100 years, and we're delighted to be here this morning uh, supporting the town and the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we sure do do a lot. We provide home and community health care services, um, public health services as well, and we uh, support the uh, town hall. What are you doing today in association with sidewalk sales? So we are delighted to be here this morning uh, to present the renderings of the new building that we are constructing at uh, 27 Governor Street. Uh, it's a long time coming. We are so grateful to the donors who have helped us privately raise the funding for the building. Uh, but we have the renderings and we have an opportunity for people to purchase pavers and benches uh, inside and outside of the building and to talk about the building. You know, it won't only serve as administrative office space for the staff, but we're also putting some innovative programming into the building, such as outpatient rehabilitation, cardiac rehab. Uh, we're putting in a teaching kitchen, personal passion of mine. Wow. I, you know, nutrition is truly the foundation of so many uh, conditions and will marshal the talents of nutritionists and dietitians and uh, bring groups together for whatever ails you and learn uh, you know, behavior modifications and better nutrition as well as a caregiving center. We'll have a mock hospital room to help people uh, teach others how to care for uh, an elderly person, a, a, a sibling, a neighbor, a friend, what have you. Wow, and Teresa, when is the building expected to be finished? The projected completion date is um, February 2016. Mm -hmm. And so far, so good. We are on schedule. Oh, that's good. And you know, it's right around the corner from here. And you guys didn't move far from the original. You're not moving far from the original location. Mm -hmm. It's still very centrally located, you know, close to Main Street, which is nice. That's correct. Yeah, we're just a little bit closer to Main Street. We're yeah. currently at 90 East Ridge. Uh, the old high school building, and we'll be right on Governor Street, just next door to the Boys and Girls Club. And we'll be able to do um, more programming with them as well, with the uh, younger population in town. Now you talked about the benches and the pavers. This is a chance to memor memorialize someone or put a message, and in doing so, help support construction? Absolutely. It will help const uh, support the, the cost of the project in general, but there are so many people who are purchasing a paver and customizing it uh, to, you know, forever uh, serve as a, 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 a testimony to maybe someone we cared for, uh, a deceased loved one, uh, or in honor of someone. And it could be an internal, external bench, or as I said, the pathway, and we're calling it the pathway to health, and it will run around the building. And we do have the renderings here this morning. Oh, that's a great idea. We have to go check that out. Now, Teresa, what are some of the pressing health issues or things that you guys are talking about this time of year? That's a great question. Uh, you know, we are well positioned. Uh, it's no secret any longer that we're aging, we're living longer, and uh, that's a wonderful thing. Unfortunately, sometimes what comes along with that, parallel to that, is the increase, the prevalence of chronic disease. So we are ensuring that our clinicians are uh, trained and have the credentials necessary to teach, educate, and help people maintain those chronic conditions. Things as simple as hypertension to more complicated issues like Alzheimer's. For example, we just completed um, training. 100% of our clinical staff are now all dementia certified trained. So that's just a, another level, a higher level of training to handle the uh, Alzheimer's tsunami, as they call it. Uh, but, but, you know, I think what we're talking about, certainly, and it's, it's a national conversation, is the prevalence of chronic disease. Mm. Uh, but you mentioned nowadays, you know, we, believe it or not, here we are the middle of July, we're already ramping up for flu and pneumonia oh clinics. Oh, no, yes. That's <laughs> right. big, yeah. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> we're kind of always talking about yep. flu <laughs> clinics, but, uh, uh, but certainly right now we're getting ready for them. Wow. Yes. As a visiting nurse association, are you seeing more and more people wanting to stay at home and, and grow old in the home rather than go off to a facility? Absolutely. You know, there's this whole notion of aging in place, healthfully, uh, socially engaged, and safely. 
and we sure are. Uh, you know, by profession, I'm a registered nurse, and I, I have to say, back in the 80s, uh, you know, the trend was to move into an inpatient facility. Uh, the trend today is people certainly want to age in place in their own homes, the comfort of their own homes. It's the most cost-efficient place to age. Mm. So yes, we are seeing an uptick in that. Wow. And Teresa, how can people get more information about the RVNA? You can go to our website. Uh, you can call us up. Uh, we, you could, um, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Uh, come and visit us this morning at our booth. All right, great. Thank you so much, Thank Teresa you. Santora of Thank the RVNA. You. Love talking with you. Thank you. Love being here. All right, enjoy the day. Well, Donning, it's currently <laughs> 72 and overcast in Ridgefield. 40% chance of showers. We just had the sun peeking through, though, which was lovely. We did. That was, uh, that was very it encouraging. It was very nice. That was very I think our next guest has arrived, but uh should we take a break? Let's can we take yeah. a can we take a quick break? All right, great. We're gonna take a break and we'll be back live from Ridgefield Summerfest after this.